let's compare not not compare Rust solidity, but just uh, uh, take solidity as a baseline. Um, I'm talking from my own experience, and when I write Rust smart contract afterwards, I'm more confident that I didn't fuck up than I write a solidity smart contract. <laughs> That's the basic also like a first feeling when you get when you write a Rust smart contract at the end, because um, Rust by itself actually has so many additional security features built in and compiler is not forgiving usually you eventually make make less mistakes writing a smart contract even let's say um a basics um like rust provides you with the with the many ways of um let's say how to handle overflows for instance um in rust you can handle overflows in many like a different ways how you like it it's also adds the additional flexibility um and also by default like uh as long as you compile correctly you won't have any overflows in your in your rust like if you add overflow checks in your cargo toml if you added like a checked ads uh you shouldn't have any 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 problems there and also i would say that's a bit uh would say uh controversial but usually if you if you already know rust if you're writing, let's say, uh, Rust smart contracts, uh, you spend a long time. Uh, I mean, not a long time, but I mean, it's harder to learn Rust than Solidity. And because of this, barrier of entry is higher. And usually, uh, output of smart contracts is a higher quality than in Solidity in some cases. That also plays uh, a vital uh, role, I would say. What compiler provides you with is that you don't like one of the reasons why uh rust was adopted in web 2 in many actually in aws and in many other places uh to like a first of all rewrite some stuck stuff from c++ to rust is that it prevents majority of memory issues that actually one by itself it's already a big reason why many people are just rewriting everything because it's harder for a developer to write something stupid uh unless you write unsafe rust even in unsafe rust like if you write unsafe rust it doesn't mean that borrow checker just turns off it's just more permissive i would say um that's and also in addition to this um because of its speed and basically execution and lower memory it's super useful for serverless applications like it's like we are writing currently a trust block. We our whole stack is serverless. We, I mean, and we are planning to change some functions from we're currently writing in uh, Node.js, basically in JavaScript type, sorry, TypeScript to Rust because execution time is going to be much lower, and therefore the cost savings are going to be higher for us. So that's also another benefit uh, of a Rust, of its speed and its memory footprint that I would say is super beneficial. Um, so yeah, I mean, for compiler, like it's uh, it's great that it just prevents so many like uh, memory issues that you can have uh, out of the box. The only drawback is sometimes compile time, but I mean, you you have to live with it. But it's it's not a big deal to be honest. Like in some cases.